Hey guys, welcome to this plumberparts.co.uk video. Quick swig of the coffee before we get started. Oh my good God. In this video, I'm gonna to demonstrate to you a few different ways that you can employ to stop getting runs when you're doing upright solders out of fittings. So what we're talking about here is the sort of solder you'd do on this fitting here if it was upright. We're gonna show you the coupling way, which is the easiest way to get over this problem, but also I'm gonna show you the hardest kind of way, which is the elbow way where you can't feed in at the top as well. Please hit that like button. Please comment below if you think we've missed anything out. If you're a plumber who knows all about this already, help some of the people in the comments section below if they've asked any questions. This is a community. We're not here to hate on each other. If you're here to hate, you might as well get out that goddamn gate, y'all. Oh yeah. Also, for those of you who watch all of the video, there'll be some special links that appear only for you guys. So good luck with that one. And also, if you want, you can follow my vlog channel at Times with James, which is about documentaries, history, travel, vlogs, and reviews. I'll leave links to all those bits and bobs as well. Anyway, let's get on with the video, guys. And remember, if there's one thing you've got to do if it's not subscribe, then that's hold tight. Let's go! Finish my coffee. Oh my god, it's getting cold. So anyway, I've done some videos already on how to do soldering, how to do it properly, how to make sure that you don't have any problems, that sort of thing. And this is one of the problems that even seasoned plumbers, apprentices who've been around for ages, that sort of thing, find difficult. Let's face it guys, we're learning throughout all of our lives, and that's why it's good to sometimes have a look, sit down, and actually think, hmm, how can I get over that particular problem, okay? So if you are looking and you don't know yet how to do soldering, or you haven't done it before, and you wanna get a watertight fitting, I've done a video on the seven steps to get a watertight solder fitting. So check that out. Oh, Brucey! So look, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a little plate up quickly where we've got an upright pipe, and then we're gonna do loads of solders up here and just see whether we get them to run or not, that sort of thing. Yeah. What we'll do, we'll just get this fitting cleaned up here. Very clean anyway earlier on from the video that we've done a few weeks ago. So I'm just gonna use a little bit of Laco on this one. Just pop that a bit on there. We're just cleaning that fitting up nicely. I'm gonna pop that on here like so. So guys, what I really wanna do with this video is use old pipe, use stuff that, you know, we're gonna sort of struggle to get clean, that sort of thing, to prove how much you have to concentrate on, a, on cleaning a fitting and making sure that it's all okay. What I like to try and do is if I'm gonna be doing this joint here at the bottom, I like to do that joint last. So we're gonna heat up our top fitting, going down to our bottom pipe. I mean, I know heat rises, but let's face it, heat goes everywhere when you're doing this sort of work. Just gonna get that going in here. And we're gonna do that top one first, all right? Now we can start on this one here. That's run really well straight away, that one has. So you see what I mean? We've started on that top fitting and we're getting easy runs as we go around. So now we're into our last fitting before we drop down. Right, and that's gone in okay. Like, I know we've got a fair bit of solder. I know you guys love to see no solder sticking out or a lot of the Instagram plumbers do. And I, this is you guys, I don't hate on that at all. I think it's really good. Uh, it's just that I am different. I just want to see, you know, a little bit on there. You can see I'm heating all of the fitting up here. Now I'm going to take this away and just run that in. So that's not going just yet. Just hold it on, hold it on. There you go, it's right, it's run up and in now. We are almost there. It's very, very close to being done now. See that, so we've got one up in there. Pop round to the front here, just like so. Boom, there we go, look. Do you see that, it's all just sucked straight up into the fitting. <sighs> and there we go. So there you go, you've got that there. And if we cleaned those fittings up, that would look absolutely fantastic. We wouldn't have any troubles making this look good. We haven't had any rundowns or dribbles. But now what we're gonna do, we're gonna go further up this little bit to the top of the 15, clean that up, and then I'll be able to show you the vertical coupling straight solder, which is the easiest way to not get a run. A good joint for me is one that doesn't have any blobs on it and one that doesn't leak. <laughs> Um, and sometimes you'll find that if you try to go down the route of making everything look like it's got no solder in it, then you're gonna sometimes come a little bit unstuck, uh, which is not what we want, all right? So we've cleaned the top of our pipe, fluxy wax on here. Now that it's warm, you can see the flux is going on clear. Let's just give that a wipe off. Give our flux a little wipe off there. Did inside the fitting, nowhere else. We're not sort of making it so it can't get to the fitting. Now we've got a new bit of pipe here, so we're just gonna give that a clean anyway. I know it's new, why does it need cleaning? Just clean it guys, you might as well. 
And now we're ready. Guys, we're on 15 mil as well. We don't really want any flame at all, to be honest, not much. And when we're, when we're actually applying the flame to the pipe, so we want to be going about here. So think about like a, fit, a fist's width or maybe three knuckles width away from the pipe. We're going to heat the whole fitting up together uh, before we actually apply any solder to the fitting. So we're just going to do that. Maybe you want a tiny little bit more, just a tiny bit more flame. Look, so now we're getting it going. This shouldn't take too long. Sometimes when you move one of these, they'll make a different noise. So look, we're just going in here now. Right, I'm going to tap on now and just see if we get anything to go in. Look, that's run already. A little bit dry. Right, okay, now we just wait. See, we can, we, all we can do is we can feed it through the fitting down to the bottom. You'll see it appear at the bottom of the fitting. There you go, there it is. Just popping through there now. Just to make sure, sometimes it's a good idea, I like doing this, because you know, these are all the different ways that we as plumbers, uh, we employ all these little methods to make sure everything's okay. Just wipe it off with your flux brush. Another little trick as well, when you're doing that, always make sure that your flux brush is going away from your face. Uh, I'm being a bit stupid here because I'm not using PPE while we're doing this. Uh, I have had it. Ask my apprentice when I got this in my eye. <laughs> you think I'd have learned by now, wouldn't you? Um, so look, there we go. We've got that one jointed up now. That will be fine. We won't get any leaks on there. Now we're just going to give it a clean off, just to run down like so. And once you've cleaned off like the scored burnt um, bit of solder, you'll see that we have got, look, that is sealed. That has run all the way around there. We haven't got any rundowns. Now, I would probably employ a slightly different method. What we're going to do, the next joint we do, we're going to use fluctuator flux. Uh, and just see if that's any different, just to see. I mean, I'd be interested to see it. Got an, uh, an ox ratchet um, cutter here. Look at that, how cool is that? Wicked. Just gonna give this a clean off. Now, what I'll do sometimes, there's loads of little tips you can do today. If we're doing a clean off and the pipe's hot, just double up your emery cloth. And also, this sounds stupid, I prefer emery cloth the older it gets because it doesn't sort of, it's not as abrasive on the pipe, it doesn't sort of cane it. Now, for this sort of thing as well, make sure you've got any brush, if you've got an alternative brush there, make sure you've got that ready. Pop a little bit of um, fluctuator flux in it, and then you can just pop that in the back, like so. You don't even need to do it up, really, uh, if you don't want to. So then you're just gonna wang that on there, just like so, like that. A Little bit of flux on that. So, again, let's get lit up. Now, for the elbow ones, I always say, do it like this. Do your horizontal one first, because that'll allow you to heat more of the fitting up. Sometimes as well, depending on the lean, you can feed a fair bit of solder in and actually get it to run into that bottom bit without getting any runs. It's a bit cheeky to do, and also it means that you've probably got quite a lot of solder inside the pipe. It's not really 100% what we want. So we are smoking here. Let me just, here, get that round there. I'll just tap that on. There we go, it's going in lovely, that is. Now we've already, I think we've already got some here. Yeah, we have. Let's just tap some on anyway. There we go, look, see that? That confirms it. Hopefully you can see that, guys. Look, if we just run that round to here. Oh, <laughs> don't want to bugger it up. There we go. I don't want to get that wrong. So there we go, that one's done. There's another upright done. We haven't got a run on it. <laughs> Again, just wait a few minutes, let it cool down. We'll do a few more. I mean, love to get find some more cut, Linda. So I have all my fittings in a flip case, and I've left all my fittings on a job like about four or five doors down from where I live. I should have brought them over, I'm stoking. And then what we'll do in a minute, we'll give all these a clean up. We'll give the whole lot, all the ones we've done vertically, a good clean up, and then we'll be able to see, see how well these have gone. The one that's gonna be difficult is this one here. It's a hard one to say, right? We'll just see how this one goes. I'd usually, for these ones, start at the bottom of the fitting. Um, I'd be looking to start down the bottom here and making sure that, that everything's going in all right. But I might put a little bit more flame in as well. Not too much. And we're just gonna go around this side as well. You see how you can just get used to doing that movement with your blowtorch to flip round and get on the other side of the joint. Right, okay. Quite there yet, and there we go. Right, so there we go, there's our first bottom one. You don't need a lot of solder to get a 15 mil solder to run. It's not helped by the fact that this pipe is moving, making this really hard. Right, so now we're gonna move up. We know that we've got heat going up already into this fitting here. Hopefully we should just be able to get that to touch and run. There we go, 
Oh, it's gone already. Hey, hey, there we go. Just wallow it round, wallow it round. Oh, man, let's see if we can just get a touch on there. Oh, mate. See, I'm not going to move. I don't want to make this like it's unrealistic, you know? Oh, in you go. There you go. Look at that. Lovely. Just round here. Make sure we get a bit round there. Bang. That will be watertight, I guarantee it. So there we go guys, that's how we do that. We've done a 22 mil bottom fitting as well. We've done a 15 mil straight coupling with the top feed through methods and compillarying it down. We've done a 15 mil elbow and we've used like effectively two methods there where a little bit of solder runs in through the elbow and then drops down. And then also we've done the most, I'd say that the most difficult way of soldering is when you're going onto a reducer and trying to do them because they just tend to sort of, with that shoulder, they tend to just want to let down some of that solder and bang, before you know it, it's going down the pipe. So as you've seen, what we've done there is we've prepared properly, we've used flux properly, we've not whacked on loads of heat, We've used small amounts of solder at small intervals, taken the heat away, watched, fed it round, tiny bit more solder. It doesn't take loads of solder, guys. You have to feed loads in. Um, and then that's it, we're done. We've got nice clean soldered here. I'm sure once I've given these a bit of a clean down. In fact, in my next video, I'm gonna show you the three ways that you can get really, really shiny copper pipes and solder fittings, just like all those dudes get on Instagram, okay? So I hope you come back to watch our next video. If you've enjoyed this video, please hit a like. If you think we've done something wrong, or if you've got your own method, you've got a better method, you think, comment it below. I'd love to hear what it is, because the thing is, I might not be doing it 100% right. This is how I've done it for years, you know? If you guys have got a method of doing it, comment it below, I guarantee you I'll try it out, 100%. There's gonna be a link in a minute to my vlog channel, Times with James, where we've currently traveled all over Europe. We've been to Chernobyl, we've been to Berlin, we've been to loads of crazy places, and also you'll be able to find out what I'm getting up to outside of plumbing, namely learning to fly. So click that link, go over there and subscribe as well, it'd be a great help. Thanks ever so much for watching today's video, guys. My coffee, yes, has gone completely cold. But anyway, I'll see you in the next video, guys. And remember, if there's one thing you've got to do, I think you know what it is. We all know what it is. It's hold tight. And I'll give you a little tidbit as well for the next video. Where is it? Oh, yeah. It includes this.